keeping communities safe. It's the focus of the annual Goods for Guns program, offering incentives for turning in guns responsibly. And the efforts is growing again this year. Our Tim McCone is live with the details for us. Tim? That's right, Olivia. As we found out today, the program's been going on for more than a decade in the city, but it's only getting bigger. UMass Memorial Hospital, along with the DA's office, prepare for the 14th annual Goods for Guns Day in Worcester. The basic premise of the program is that we basically allow folks from the community to bring unwanted or unsecured weapons into the hospital in exchange for some gift certificates. Guns don't take care of themselves, people do. And for the person who wasn't the original gun owner who has a gun and is no longer capable of taking care of it, this is a great way to get rid of that gun. Dr. Hirsch says it's a cause he's passionate about. I had a, a very unfortunate introduction into the world of gun violence because uh, I was a resident in training in uh, New York City in the early 80s when my best friend was shot and killed in front of the hospital. Since its beginning in 2002, they have collected nearly 2,600 guns. Lester Police participated in the program for the first time last year. 35% of the crime guns in Massachusetts come from house breaks or stolen firearms. It's essential that we get those into the, the custody of police. This year, 16 communities are participating, making it the largest Goods for Guns Day yet. We're not anti-Second Amendment. We believe in the Second Amendment. This is simply to get those guns that may potentially become crime guns out of houses where they're left unattended. Now, Worcester Police Department is one of the locations you can drop off those guns at, but the police do ask that you bring your gun unloaded and in a brown paper bag. Olivia, back over to you. All right, Tim, thank you for that.